beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Juliet Kitchen. Yasmin here. Today you're in for a phenomenal and fantastic treat like I always say. I am going to be sharing with you this healthy one pan dish. It's a beautiful black rice or forbidden rice. It's, uh, it's also known with salmon. This dish is absolutely easy to put together. It has great flavors. You guys know I love to put a lot of fresh herbs, uh, some beautiful uh, spices like coriander, like cumin. It also has some toasted uh, pecans that I did on the stovetop and the um, salmon. So lots of great omega-3 fatty acids, uh, protein, fiber. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Well, I know it is absolutely delicious. It's the first in the series of one pan dish. So I do hope that you love it enough to come back for more. Stick around and you'll see how I put together this super easy, quite healthy and delicious recipe. While you stick around, don't be shy. Just be generous and click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and then do click on that bell so that you get notified whenever I deliver a new upload. So let's get started. It's really good. Wow. Okay, beautiful people, I have all of my ingredients ready. I'm turning on my uh, stove and I have, uh, I'm using here today, uh, pecans. These are kind of mostly whole and I want to toast it. Sometimes I toast this in the oven, but since I only want to mess up one uh, cooking pan, I am actually doing it uh, on the stove top. Okay, so while that is happening, I'm going to season my uh, salmon. This is about a pound and a half of uh, salmon that I cut into four uh, pieces, or six pieces, I should say. Um, and I have here just basically salt and fresh ground black pepper. For this amount of salmon, I use about one teaspoon of uh, kosher salt and half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. You could adjust those flavors for your taste bud. Okay, I'm going to I remove the skin on these salmon. You could have your fish longer do that to do this uh, part too far in advance because the salt will definitely begin to cook the salmon. Okay. When you're roasting the pecans on the stovetop, you do want to move it around a little bit, otherwise one side will get color and the other side wouldn't. Okay, this probably I would say took about three minutes or so on medium heat. You don't want it to get too brown, you just want to bring out some of the extra nutty flavor. I'm going to turn off the stove actually. Mm -hmm. It smells really lovely. Okay, so that's the toasted pecans. I'm actually going to give the pan a little bit of a wipe because I don't want uh, any brown bits from the pecans in here. What I really want to do now is uh, cook the salmon in this pan but I'm only going to partially cook the salmon and today I'm actually using uh, avocado oil this is a big a bottle I use a lot of it so it doesn't um, last me as long it's just cheaper to buy a big bottle I'm using a non-stick pan today I, I very rarely use a non-stick pan but I think for this dish it works perfectly I'm actually using the avocado oil because I'm going to sear the salmon on a relatively high heat, medium high I would say. Once you start seeing some shimmer in the oil, it's ready. See that? I'm only going to do three pieces at a time. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. And these I dry them pretty thoroughly, but sometimes they still have a bit of water in there. You see, it has a nice color. It's a little browner. Okay, 
took like probably a little bit less than a minute to get a nice ear to it. You know, the salmon has so much good um, omega-3 fatty acid. Look at that. Just lightly and just be careful because you don't want to break it up. Usually hard using a chicken tongue. But I'm using a pot that has a side, so it's hard to pick it up with the um, spatula. The avocado oil is a high smoke point, and that's why to cook this on a high heat, you do need uh, to use the avocado oil. You really want to carefully remove it. I'm going to turn the stove off here. Now the oil I have in the pan, that's uh, probably a little bit more than I would, uh, want. So I am actually going to empty some of this right in this pan. You could also start with some fresh oil if you prefer. Uh, now what I really want to do is add some, I'm using shallots uh, here today that's been finely minced. I'm adding the shallots um, while the stove is off because the residual heat from the pan is going to cook it. Oh, shallot smells amazing. Okay, I'm just going to turn my heat on here. And I want to add in my garlic. This is about uh, two teaspoons of finely minced uh, garlic. I also want to add in, I'm using fresh thyme and fresh oregano. You guys know I like my fresh stuff. That's about a teaspoon of each. I have spices for today. I'm using one teaspoon coriander, half a teaspoon ground cumin. And here is my beautiful um, black rice. Black rice is uh, very healthy, it has a nutty flavor to it, so the pecans that we're going to, <laughs> the pecans that I'm going to be adding in really um, brings out the flavor. You could add walnut, but I think I like the intensity of the pecans better in this day. I'm also going to add in my carrots at this time. Mm. It's too small. Carrot, about three quarters of a cup. Okay, that salt and fresh ground black pepper, about quarter teaspoon um, uh, fresh ground black pepper, and one teaspoon salt. Okay, I, it's about a minute and a half, two minutes, and now I'm going to add in my um, chicken stock. Whoa, carefully. I am going to bring this to a boil. It's going to come to a boil very quickly. I have about, I would say, two tablespoons of cilantro. I'm going to add this in the end. And the nuts, I am going to add in now, actually. I want to just break them up. So the nut is going to soften up in the dish but it's also still going to have a crunch. This just come to a nice rolling boil. You know, I love the color of this black rice. It has sort of a purpley uh, type of color, almost like eggplant. So I'm going to cover this and I'm going to turn the heat to low because I want this to simmer for just about 30 minutes or that uh, chicken stock or chicken broth, whichever one you're using, will be nicely absorbed. So beautiful people, this is the black rice that I use. I usually uh, get it my store brand. Um, and I, I never used to see this before. I've heard about black rice, but it was hard to find. It wasn't up until perhaps about a year ago that I saw it in my grocery store and I see it regularly now. Um, and it's really healthy for you. It has a beautiful nutty flavor. It has amino acid. It has a, a good amount of protein, good amount of fiber. I think it's three grams of 
fiber for half a cup serving. Remember the first time when I cooked it, my husband was, was like, what is this? It tastes amazing. And it has a hint of sweetness to it, which is beautiful. Okay, beautiful people, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to turn off the stove and hope that the, uh, um, the liquid has been absorbed. It, it, should, it should be absorbed, but you never know. A lot of time cooking uh, the rice depends on um, how low or how high you have the temperature. So really what I want to do now is open it up, quickly add it in my uh, cilantro, I also have scallions, but I'm going to reserve the scallions uh, for garnish, so I don't want to put it in here. And then I also want to take the salmon and add it back into the pan. You see the salmon here? You can see that it hasn't really cooked through and through. It's quite okay to eat like this, but the steam uh, from uh, the rice and in the pan, once I cover it back, it's gonna uh, cook it through a little bit more and it's going to be perfect. Nice, yes. See this? I'm going to quickly add in my cilantro. A little bit of freshness. It's so perfect, oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right, um, I'm going to add in the, um, the salmon on the top. I don't need to mix it in with the rice. You could certainly cook the salmon uh, the way I did and cook it through and then um, eat it with the rice as a side dish. And I want all of that beautiful salmon flavor in here. I am going to actually cover this and allow it to sit for about uh, 10 minutes or so and the rice is going to be even fluffier. I can't believe how perfect it came out. Every once in a while if I don't turn the temperature of the stove down correctly, it has a little bit more wetness to it, but this is perfect. Okay beautiful people, this is definitely ready. You could see um, it's cooked through. How beautiful is that? It actually smells amazing in here. Can you see that, guys? Beautiful people, it's my favorite time tasting. I'm gonna start with the rice. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Have to try the salmon. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's nice and flaky. Still very moist. Although the salmon only have salt and pepper on it, it's superbly fantastic. Wow, it's amazing. The rice still has a nice al dente texture to it. It has that nutty, sweetish flavor. The nut add a tremendous amount of uh, additional nut flavor. All of the spices came together. The salmon was so simple, salt and pepper, but it tastes beautifully. So beautiful people, I do hope you enjoyed watching how I prepared this beautiful, beautiful one dish a meal or one pan meal. Until next time, happy cooking.